Hi, I'm Mr. Bear. And I'm Mr. Bear Jr. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Bear, Bear Cave. Cave. Today, we're playing through part eight of our Zelda walkthrough. Uh, we've gotten off the Great Plateau. We've made it all the way to Kakariko Village. We've just met Impa. She's given us a bunch of quests. One to meet all the divine beasts. Beat them? And beat them, or meet, something like that. Beat, meet, greet. Uh, and then uh, to get to Hatino Village and talk to the folks at the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab uh, to help us complete our Sheikah Slate. So without further ado, let's go here. Uh, one thing to notice here on the right, you have a row of apples with little statues. And this is another... Korok puzzle. So we're going to take an apple here, and we're going to go ahead and drop that apple. And get ourselves, and get ourselves another Korok seed. Huck the chicken? Huck the chicken into the water. Notice if you huck the chickens in water, they'll respawn instantly. Which is Weird. amazing. It's what chickens do in real life. Oh, it's an art lover, Picango. Oh, yeah, pick, pick and go. <laughs> pick and go. Pick and Fairy go. Fairy fountain. That sounds like it could become useful. Mm. Mm. Wait, you're not from here? Are you from the lodge of Patino? Mm. Mm. I wonder. My cuckoos, my precious cuckoos. <gasps> He's mad for cuckoos. Yep. He's cuckoo for cuckoos. <laughs> I suppose so. That's another one of those little side quests. Side quests are useful, especially early in the game, because they help you. Oh my god, Uh, very useful early in the game because they help you. Uh, you'll usually get some rupees, something else to assist you from them. That can be very helpful. Speaking of rupees, I don't have any rupees for better armor now, do I? No, really, no. But let's check at least. Let's check. So this is one of the first shops. Some proper trousers, a tunic, and a hood. And then we've got. Oh, look at Florin Tang tie in the tunic. He's having that. We'll skip it. Um, so that's 700, 500, and 600. We don't have anywhere close to that. We've only got 50. Although we can get a little more defense from the tunic and the hood. We decided to go there. We'd have to sell some of our precious gemstones. I say we just keep going. And head on over to... Uh, hey, come back here. Like the horse from earlier. Oh, you keep trying to wander away. It's almost like I haven't uh, faded in the register room or anything. Although, at this point, I'm never <laughs> Just uh, travel to Dueling Peaks and pick up another horse. Yeah, we're going to come back to Kakariko Village and complete some more of these little side quests. That is one of his cuckoos, though. Children are dead. The adults are dead. See if the cuckoo lands really. Oh, it just disappeared. All right, so here's another shrine here. And this is a very special shrine. We're gonna go into it real quick. I think we're pretty close. Oh, we've only got one spirit orb. This shrine is rather interesting. I like the other shrines. 
Hello Neg teacher. So we get a shield. Oh, and and its eye has a shield. A full blade. That's a nice sword. Nicer than anything we've gotten up till now. So let's go ahead and arm ourselves with a full blade. And This is a special guardian. It's a teaching guardian. Yeah, this is where targeting an enemy starts to become very important. And you do that by holding down the left key. Uh, one of the nice things about targeting the enemy, of course, whoops, is that um, see that arrow, that means it's targeted. And it'll keep it in focus no matter where we go. So let's go up to the side, and that allows us to do a very well. Hit Y a bunch, does a whole bunch of damage to the Guardian. Yeah, it's very similar. You also have the enemy targeted, and then you use your left joystick to go back instead of the side and jump at the same time. So very similar to strafing. Go, targeted. And we go right as it strikes. Come in. Our flurry strike. Yeah, a little tricky to get a, a, handle, a, a handle on him, you know, at first, but very, very useful later on. So we're going to ready our shield with the ZL key, and then we're going to carry it right as it strikes. Oh, now it's targeted. Right here. attack, very similar. You build power and then release. So, and that's using the same, using the Y. Whoops. Some nice music. Now we're gonna drop one of our less useful uh, weapons and grab that sword. So that's all it is, is it's teaching you your uh, combat skills and uh, the key thing with that is to remember when you're fighting um, a, a, an opponent is to hold down that ZL key because that's what allows you to target the opponent and most of those things can't be done unless you're targeting the opponent so that, that part gets important. So we're going to pack a torch, we don't really need it right now, grab a guardian sword it looks very impressive, the Guardian Sword. You notice it's 20, um, but it even says it right there. It's not very durable. Those break very, very quickly. But they're useful if you're fighting um, Guardians, specifically. They're stronger against Guardians. Let's go here. Got ourselves an Opal. Go here. Spirit Orb. <laughs> Are we having fun? Excellent. So, the Spirit Orb, we've now got two Spirit Orbs, and I think we should go back and do those two shrines we skipped along the way here. Because that'll let us get four Spirit Orbs, which will let us get another heart container, and uh, then we can go to Hiteno Village and be very strong. Where do you think we should do stamina? You know, it's up, it's, you know, that's, that's always the choice, isn't it? It would be nice to have extra stamina, especially when you're trying to do things like catch wild horses. Yeah, maybe we could switch back and forth with them. Like, we get heart, we get stamina, we get... Yeah. One uh, way we could approach it. So let's go all the way to ba Boshkala. Because we got those two. So let's make it four and get ourselves stamina wheel, we decided, yeah? Two plus two is four. Yes. Quick maths. Wow. All right. Go to the Boshkala. I had a feeling a star monster was approaching. Yeah. We're going to skip it. Mm -hmm. All right. He 
you were in the Bosch Kala Shrine, The Wind Guides You. Remember we said before, the uh, title will often tell you what's going on in the shrine and what you need to pay attention I'm to. Lost. I think it's the wind. We're lost and we need the wind to guide Whoa. us. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, yeah. and X to unfurl. That's one of the nice things about the paraglider. If you see a, a wind blowing like that directly, you can hop into it in the paraglider and it will just blow you straight across horizontally like that. That's fine. We've got a little thing right there. Grab another one. And that is not what we wanted to do. Well, luckily you only lose one heart, and it's no big deal, right? There we go. Land over there. And remember, hit B to release the paraglider and just drop. So, over this way. Looks like we didn't get quite enough reach. Want to get that treasure chest there real quick. So, get a little water this way. Run here. This should do it. Excellent. Soldier's Claymore. Maybe we could probably drop one of our weaker weapons for a Soldier's Claymore. What do you think, lad? Traveler's Claymore. Or do you want to keep the, the Traveler's? I want to keep the Boomerang. Okay, yeah, I'll show it, folks. How the boomerang works later. Soldier's Claymore. Stay this way. Okay. There we go. And I think we're ready to complete this level. That was a tough one, eh? That was a tough one. So I'm gonna like fall three times and lose all my hearts and die. <laughs> All right, go ahead and complete this one. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Spirit Orb number three. We fill our hearts and also our mute. Strange skeletal monk dude. Strange skeletal monk dude. Yep. SSMD. Yes, yes, very good. Strange Skeleton Monk, dude. SSMD. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, let's just get out of here before we have to tangle with those knuckleheads. I'm going to tra travel to the re the he. Read, I'm going to read a he. I'm going to read a he. A he. Silly person. All right. And we've already unlocked this one, so we travel right to it, run right in, go right there. Oh, All right. On this one, timing is critical. So, well, I think it's... I mean, it's critical. So we go ahead and press this down. And that's going to roll that ball over there. That was an easy one. Just to kind of show us uh, what's going on and get us acquainted. And ride that across. Now we've got a similar puzzle over here. But notice, there's a trick to it. You gotta go that way, not let it roll off to the right, and then step back over just so it goes rolling back the other way. Easy if you know how to do it, but a little tough getting the timing at first. And now we've got another puzzle, another similar puzzle. This one looks extra tricky. And we're going to go here. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah. Fling 
together. Indeed. Yeah, now we want to get to that chest, but we can't do it. Now, we actually need one of those. Grab it. Indeed. The world of wonder, Hyrule. Take this barrel. Drop it on there. Then, we go over here. Up here. Up on top. Grab what's in that treasure chest. Climber's bandana. Our new ability, climb speed up. Indeed. And a nifty new bandana. We're so hip. Like the hippest elf. It's just an elk named the hip. Mm. So there we go. Run to uh, Rita Heath. Mm. And collect our reward of a fourth spirit orb. And uh, there are numerous goddess statues we can go to to trade in our spirit orbs for our next reward. Um, I think what we'll do is pick up another horse over in um, Dueling Peak Stable mm -hmm. and then just make a quick run for it and get another uh, stamina wheel once we arrive in Hatino Village. Hatino Village, okay. Okay. At some point we're going to go grab one of those wild horses, but we're just not powerful enough quite yet. We need some stamina boost and some, some stealth boost. And, we're going to use that um, shrine to travel to the stable. You can't travel directly to stables, but luckily every single stable, I think except for one, most of them anyways, have a shrine very nearby that you can use to travel to the stable. Mm -hmm. So, and we're going to discover all those stables uh, in upcoming episodes. We'll run over here. It's three in the morning. I don't feel like dealing with any stall creatures. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, just go ahead here, sit by the fire until morning. It's, uh, it can be a bit bothersome when you're weak. Once you're stronger, the stall monsters are nothing but... Yep. Apples. And anything else you want to grab here? Sometimes there's things in uh, these... Uh, Crates. Let's bash them and smash them. Yeah, grab some apples and some arrows. And... We're gonna grab one of those horses first. There's a nice little reward over in this tree here. Well, you kind of have to, actually. There's quests where you need wood. Now, right there in the middle of that big tree, we find ourselves another forest. Tree. Now we got three. Means next time we run into Hestu, we can do some trading. Yep. Life lesson. Never throw the rocks at the rocks. And nothing happens if you do, but it's just... Body bummed horses. <laughs> and we're gonna point it this way. This thing is wild. All sorts of ruined guardians around here. If we were on foot, we'd be uh, 
We'll come back and collect some guardian oh. cards later on. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Right over. Oh. It is. Doesn't like guardians too much either. Oh. Oh. Another guard, oh, Goblin. Oh. We go head right to the road here. At some point, we'll come back and search these guardians because there is actually oh. a bunch of guardian oh. cards in there. Okay, keep moving through. We are lightning focused on getting to Katino Village right now. in a row, and it gets mad and slows down when you do that. Oh, he recovered. If you do that with a wild horse, the wild horse will throw you right off. Yeah. And that's, uh, doesn't give you any damage or anything, but you got to get back on the horse, and it's mad at you. You've got a really tame horse that's been registered and tamed and everything. You actually don't even need to steer it, and we'll just keep running along the road for you, which is very nice of it. So I'm going to go to the left. Oops, one past the bees. Get ourselves to Hino Village. Do you like a book problem? Shrine up here, so we're gonna just unlock the travel gate. Yeah, just for now. That shrine's like kind of hard to. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, but we're just going to unlock it, so we can come back to it later. Here's some model homes. You explore around in them. There's not actually much in them. I spent a bunch of time exploring houses when I first started. This house over here is kind of important, though, or will become important here. And, uh, there's some workmen working on the house. And we want to go to... Mm. Yeah, the red exclamation point. I want to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Three thousand rupees. Thirty wood bundles. Thirty wood bundles. Oh, it's hilarious. Alien homeowner. That gives us another side quest. And we can just take a quick look here. Three thousand rupees. Also thirty bundles of wood. So we do need wood for that. I don't know, I, I, to be hard to say. It's a very different, uh, you know, system. Yeah. Who knows? 
Could be worth Rusty broadsword. Don't need that. Okay. Keep our horse is still hanging out. Yeah, forget it, kid. Yeah. Oh, this kid. No! Oh! Hey, he gives us side quest. Mm -hmm. He gives us lots of rupees. Ooh. Yeah, but he gives us rupees. <laughs> traveler's sword. We're gonna buy a traveler's sword so we can grab it. It is useful to talk to you. But we are here in the village. I mean, we're going to protect that. So first, right behind these cairns here, cairns, uh, up, up this hill is a goddess statue, so let's trade in and get ourselves a uh, stamina wessel. Stamina wessel. Mm-hmm. Wessels. Wessels. Alright. That was me. I found my picture. Oh, <laughs> I did not sign up for this cosmology. Oh. Or genealogy, or whatever it is. I'm gonna do some questions for you. Oh yeah. That's cool. So there we go. We're gonna run up here. Let's go take a look at our map. Looks like we're uh, going the right way to the Tino Ancient Tech. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice. Oh. Gallop again. There's the Tino Ancient Tech Lab yeah. up on that hill there. Strange person. The director, the director's in the back. Okay, let's go talk to the director. Yeah. Hello. Simon. Oh. Simon. Are you a fish? He's Simon. Let's see him. Is that a Sheikah? A real Sheikah slate. Yep, show sure is. Genki. That's Japanese. Genki this car? That's how you ask somebody, how are you?
Yeah, she's a well. She's been, he's been asleep for a hundred years, so at least a hundred. <laughs> Aaron. It took me forever to realize. Homo, homo. Mm. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. So now we got to get the blue flame. Alright, looks like we've got another quest here. Our objective, carry the blue flame from the ancient furnace of Hatino Village to the tech lab and use it to light the lab's furnace. Alright, so we have found ourselves in Hatino Village. We found the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab and we've now gotten an updated quest to um, light the furnace so that we can fully complete our Sheikah Slate. We'll do that part in the next episode of The Barricade. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Like Appreciate and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. And uh, we hope to see you in part nine.